We are John and Samantha, and the proud owners of a 1986 American Ford Econoline RV, bought by us as a salvage rebuild project. The RV was bought as severely water damaged and required the interior to be completely stripped out. We plan to spend 2021 rebuilding the RV, and that work will be shown here on the channel. In 2022, we plan to take the RV on trips around the UK, taking in some stunning scenery and hopefully some wild camping, all whilst undertaking the challenges of taking such a large vehicle down narrow country lanes. Morning guys, hope you're keeping well. So we've come out this morning to a little bit of a water leak, a couple of places. Um, so we're starting the day by removing uh, a couple of three windows. Windows that we haven't sealed as yet, but we're waiting for some decent weather, which we've seen we've got this morning. So uh, we're gonna crack on with that. Uh, Rob's just sealing up this first window and uh, we've put plenty of seal around the, uh, around the window aperture as well. Rob, there's a, you're an hole in the side of the motor, mate. What's, uh, what's happening here? Well, this window was leaking because I'd done some work to it and uh, it came slightly loose. So we've had a bit of rain overnight. So because it's not raining today, the yep. ideal opportunity to actually seal this window, which uh, needs to be done. Um, okay, okay. Quicker than I anticipated. But hey, make hay while the sun shines. So we just noticed, haven't we, Rob, the... We've got a difficult issue here because where they've cut the window out there's a slight lip there it lips out rather than it uh, the window frame gonna have to stick on something flat so we're gonna have to put plenty of sealant in here to prevent this from leaking Right, we're inside the vehicle now guys, uh, windows have, have been sealed. Not very good weather today is it Rob? <laughs> no it's not, I mean that's one of the reasons why we, um, we sealed the windows um, uh, yesterday I think it was because we had a good day yeah. and these windows were leaking because obviously yeah. we've taken the frames out. Um, so it was, it was a priority job to and We do. had some pretty good leaks as well, didn't we? We, at did. the bottom, we had yeah. a major one coming down here yeah. and a, a, another one on the other side, pretty much in the same place. But as you yeah. can see now, it's, it's dry right on it? outside, it's as dry as a bone because it yep. was, uh, we broke the seal by taking the, uh, the internal frames off. Indeed. And today is still pouring down with rain out there. You can see <laughs> the rain on the windows. So we've come inside to do some work in here. So um, let's show you what we've been doing. So, <laughs> the rain on the roof. Um, so, Rob, so let's tell the viewers what we're doing here in this area. Well, what we've done, as we mentioned in the previous video, we've now put the uh, channel up here to take all the wires. It's obviously going to be um, yep. a block in. Um, yes, And we've indeed. now measured the kitchen out to be a 1500 wide kitchen. Yes. Of 500 units. We have some room here what we're going to utilise by putting a table on yep. with a double socket. It's going to go here just in case there's a table lamp that you want to put on while you're lying yep. in your bed. What we're going to be another space for the um, for storage more than anything else. Yep. We've set out where the cooker's going to go. The hob's coming this it's side. On that left hand side, yeah. And the cooker's coming underneath. And then on the right hand side, we've got a, uh, a drainer and a sink. It's a nice there. size well, one as well, it's isn't it? Samantha's picked a nice size, a nice yeah, size one. It's yeah. a nice size one. Um, we have got to seal this window, it hasn't been sealed yet, but um, it yes. has got to be sealed, but unfortunately the weather's beating us at the moment. Um, yeah, yeah, um, okay. It has got a bit of work surface on there, so she can work on there, but if you want to pan round, John, to this side. Okay. This section here is a new spaghetti junction. All those wires are going to be hidden, and this is going to be a work service with a fridge underneath and the boiler with a bit of storage room on the top. And you know what, Rob? You've just skirted over that. And actually, there's quite a lot of work there. <laughs> yeah, there <is>. so, <laughs> so, that's not a five minutes work, is it? No, it's not, unfortunately. No. Um, In fact, let's just pop round the other side of this petition, Rob. Yeah. Because we can show them the switches that we're using. So, yeah. Because that weren't in the last video. So we're using these, uh, I think I pronounce it right, Snyder switches. And they're not, um, they're not cheap. 
Oh, screwless well, switches. Effective. Yeah, very nice, aren't they? Very effective. And the double sockets are going to be uh, single as well. So yeah, all the visible double sockets are all going to be same brand, aren't they? Yeah. So, cool. So one of the jobs today was to install these uh, uh, light units that we were having throughout the motorhome. Very low wattage LED units, very slim. So they'll fit in nicely uh, when we get the insulation in there. Uh, step down uh, voltage units. I'll just step back a bit, Rob. I think we've got them uh, wired in temporarily. We so have it's a temporary measure, so um, let's them. fire them up then, Rob. Okay. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Please emphasise it is only a temporary measure just to show you that the first time we've got lights in the vehicle, in internal lights. Yeah, just to test the ring, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, just to test it. Um, That's this zone one area, as we call it. Yeah. So this is over the bedroom and the doorway. Look pretty good, doesn't it? It does, it will do. And they're, um, they're uh, cut into the cladding and obviously insulated as well. But, um, yes. Yep. So on the subject of LED units, guys, we'll uh, show you what we are going to install uh, this this coming week. So this is the that uh, worked up area where the fridge is going. And we're putting one in here, aren't we? We are. Yep. There's going to be one in here. Putting the food. This is the large shower area, and we're going to have one lamp unit on this side. That's right. Moving backwards to the living room area. Quite a mess. Sorry, guys. Work in progress. Yeah, indeed. So we're having two here, aren't we? We are. Yeah. One either side above each of the. The bench seats. We're also going to block this window, aren't we? We're, we've decided yeah, we're, we're going to seal that. that. We're going to seal that, that up. Open yeah. I mean, look at the water pouring off there off the roof. <laughs> okay. Now this this unit here. In fact, I'm going to step back a bit, Rob, because what we've decided now is, or Samantha's decided, we're going to have wall units here, aren't we? We are. Yes. All the way around yeah. in the living room area. Yeah. That's going to have. Uh, a bank of wall units and we're also thinking we're going to come across above the television aren't we with a that's what the idea is in the moment yep. with a with a wall unit okay there's going to be a, a light in the toilet as well one single led and again there's going to be a wall unit we think or some kind of unit at the back of the toilet store some bits and pieces and then we move back to the kitchen area and there's two going in here, aren't there? There is, yes. Two there's LEDs? Two, yeah, two LEDs going in here. Two LEDs plus, I think Samantha wants some little 12 volt LEDs as well below underneath the... Underneath the cabinets. Underneath the cabinets, the same, yeah. We're going to have some cabinets in here, so we have a couple of uh, small 12 volt LEDs there as well. That's it for this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and please do give us a big thumbs up. And uh, we'll catch you next week uh, for another video where we'll have lots more content for you. Take care, guys. All the best. Bye-bye.